Hello, you're listening to Kent Richard Von Kuden of Clergy. Just down here at the Dublin says no demonstration up from Connolly Station. I'm just fin going to film here and watch the march go by. I know somebody in there. Not very good. How's it? Not bad. How about you? Oh, that way, that way. Good to see you, fella. Hey, Jimmy, how are you? Not Paul. All right. Paul, the big pardon. <laughs> Ah, Peter! Nice to see plenty of women and children here. How you doing, fella? All right. Hey, George. How are you? Nice one. Thank you. Hi folks, I'm going to pause here and walk up. Yeah. My folks just outside Independent House here. media organisations who have attempted to demonise us from day one. We're here at the independent officers who know the ground is shifting, they know they've lost this battle and they're still writing pieces about us, calling us fascists, calling us far right. Now, we have adopted a new logo for the far right in Ireland. It's a buggy. <laughs> Are these children in buggies here now the far right? No. no. Are we the people in this country who are talking sense? Yeah. Yep. Today the government apparently announced that they're going to put immigration guardy at the steps of the plane. Only on two days a week now. The chick. Checks now in the cars with that double pay. I need to go home to my children. And it's actually another girl that actually popped our uniform. And she goes, ah, this is fucking wrong. What is that? She's wrong. 
Okay, when they, when they finish the point, you'll get. Let Maliki speak. Right? They said that they're going to check people's passports. That's what they're supposed to do when they come into immigration. When somebody arrives at immigration and they say they've no passport, they tell them to get back on the plane. Then they say we're claiming asylum and they take them in. That's the problem and that's what has to change. The fact that the government are coming out with contradictory statements every day, recognising everything that we've said since last November and for a long time before that, is correct and true. We have ministers coming out begging government departments to provide them with empty buildings. And the people in Drimna challenge the government for using a school over the Christmas period who are told, I should have gone, they were only here for a week or two. We said that that was a trial run for what they're going to do in the summer. Come the end of, of May, when the secondary schools close, they will be putting people into those buildings, into classrooms. Yes, they will. No, we have had the They said they're months. going to do it. We are telling them they won't oh, be doing exactly. it. Yeah. Every political party in this country is shifting its position. Where's Mary Lou? To say... Mary Lou, where are you? They're still calling us racist. They're still calling us unrepresentative. They're telling us to go and protest at the door. They're telling us to be nice. McDonald in an interview yesterday asked them, the government to be nice to us and to discuss these things with us. And to be, I can't remember what exact words she used, but... It's a long back trip. When we addressed Mary Lou MacDonald last November, oh, she said that the government should treat us Free 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 and to sanction her councillors in Kerry and Dublin who had demonised the people of East Wall. She said she wouldn't. She said that they'd be spoken to. No. There was a time when somebody in the provisional said that somebody was spoken to you. It actually meant something. Now it means damn all. Most and a huge amount of the venom that has been directed at us, and particularly a number of us, has come from members of the provisionals. So we're not going to take any lectures from somebody who recognises that the political ground is shifting away from them. Right through this political class, so far there are umpteen Fine Gael TDs who say they're no longer standing in the next election. They're not standing because they don't want to be faced with the prospect that they'll be told to take a hike. We have shifted the political ground here and let nobody be under any illusions that it, when this started last November in East Wall and spread right throughout this city and this country. And today there are people marching in Mullingar yes. and in Navin. Yes. 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 This is the only issue. And people like the independent newspapers who for years have opposed the working class. The independent newspapers who in 1913 opposed the Irish Republican movement. The people who have demonised um, Irish working class people. And those people who are protesting up at the GPR and the mistaken belief, yet again in their mistaken belief that we were going there, we have yet again fooled those people. They claim to represent the working class people. The working class people of Dublin and of Ireland have told the Paul Morphys and the Ruth Coppingers and the, the rest of them that they no longer represent them. This is the first grassroots movement that is growing from the ground up. And we're not stopping. We have no leaders, no we have no formal us. structures. And they just can't understand why, after them lecturing us for years, why we are not saying, I should hurry on that. We're not doing us anymore. Brendan Ogle on News Talk the other day. I'm not sure if any of you have seen the video, but just have a look at it. This is a man 
who is a senior member of the United Trade Union who claims to represent the working class. A man who was venomous in his hatred for you people here today. And you only have to look at the tone of him. He told us we need to be re-educated. We are the people who are doing the re-education. He is the one that needs to be re-educated. Yeah. Along with your life, except to and all the other trade unions in this country, we need to recognise that the people in this country have spoken. And for years, we showed it to be our law. But that is now a spent statement. Our statement for today is to our law, own a niche. Our day is here and now. to tell them what we think about them and there'll be a different speaker over there. And let's not forget just one more thing if I may ask, is that Sinn Féin at one stage did have the working class population yeah. behind them. Yeah. 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 And because Sinn Féin had it, Féin had it, yeah. and they're going the same way. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to move off now towards the Irish Times offices here in Gardner Street. Now we can have the women and children with the prams up towards the front because, as I said, the new logo is the boogies. Next up, Irish Times office for a different speaker up there. It's a great crowd. Irish Times, Irish Independent Journalist there, Connor Fian. I'm breathless. Hiya, how are you? It's a great turnout there. Nice to see the tricolours. It's fantastic. Gives you hope. I passed by the crowd, uh, refugees welcome up at the GPO there. And I didn't I don't think I spotted one one tricolour amongst a lot of them. Gives you hope this. You can see all the graffiti on the walls, makes the city look very run down and shabby. The EDSK. E V O K E and E D F. See them everywhere, lampposts and what have you. Alright, I'm gonna pause this and play catch up. Alright, Patriot, how are you doing?
FM 104 there. Yeah. He is. <laughs> Just move on another bit up here. Just keep moving up that way. Yeah. 
Captain Speed. And the next location is the Red in Digital is the radio studio for News Park. And when I go that's what today I've done. And again I want to welcome and thank everybody who has come, particularly those who have travelled. And also to all of those people who are members of political parties and are not members of anything. And that they have exceeded or accepted the will that they are welcome and that there should be no identifying march on their um, banners. And we welcome that and they are all welcome. Again, thank you all for coming. We're going to move up that street now. Up Garthen Street, where you won't see any. Um, Asylum Up to the Stevens Green Shopping Centre and around then up to Mercer Street. And in fact, as we're going past Mercer's Hospital, I think they're trying to take that and they're trying to take Baggage Street Hospital as well. outside Pier Street. Last time I was down here it was at the handing in of the for the sex education bill. Just to see some of the guards are talking to the children, which is nice. Thomas Moore statue there. 